Batman! Today we're making a Batman cake. It is kind of surreal. It's made of buttercream. Can you believe that? This looks sick. Let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to... Oh, sh I forgot I'm not wearing my hat. Oh, where's my hat? I forgot where I put it. <sighs> Crisis averted. Hey everyone, welcome back to Quali Pops. My name is Val Kilmer. Today we're making a 3D Batman head sculpt out of buttercream. This cake was awesome, also terrifying because there's a lot of pressure. I've never made a cake like this before, so I was super scared, procrastinated a lot, but I just pushed through it. So let me show you how we did it. So to create this cake, I'm starting with my PVC pipe system, and I've also got this piece of styrofoam that looks like the neck and the bottom of the head. Now if you're gonna attempt this, you can create this with more cake. You really only need to support his chin. The reason I'm using the styrofoam to be half of his face is because nobody's gonna eat this cake. I'm probably gonna eat like a few slices and then like, throw it away. I can't give it to anyone because there's dogs in my studio. It's just not gonna happen. So I don't wanna have to throw away too much cake. So I made it so I'm only gonna throw away about two layers. For the top of this head, I'm starting with an eight inch round cake. I've got buttercream in between each of my layers and I'm gonna top this with a six inch half dome cake. After that, I started to shave away to create my cake shape. I'm just using my styrofoam as a guide and just shaving away the edges, but I'm going to be using these edges for my cake. I need more cake for the back of his head. I didn't realize that when I baked it, but my cake scraps filled in the gaps and it was fine. After that, I started to carve more of my cake away. I wish I could tell you like what I'm doing. I'm basically just trying to figure out what a head looks like. And so I'm making it up as I go along. <laughs> I've never done this before. So I was like, my head is round like this. Maybe I should do that. And so I was like, okay, let's do that. This is a terrible tutorial, you guys. When I was happy with the shape of my head, I gave this an MVP coat to lock in all of the crumbs. Now this coat is a little bit thicker than usual because I'm not gonna be covering most of this cake with its final coat until later on in the process. But after my crumb coat, I placed my cake in the fridge, let it set up, and then I added my Bruce Wayne skin tone colored buttercream. I'm only gonna cover the front of this cake. Now most of this cake is gonna be covered with black buttercream because of his cowl, but I was so scared of getting the black buttercream on his face that I just left it off. Now when I'm happy with my face and it's completely carved, then I'll add the black buttercream, but until then, I don't wanna risk it. I'm so like messy disorganized and clumsy, it would get on the face. And I'm adding a lot of skin tone buttercream to the front. That way I can account for his nose and like his lips and his nice chin. I'm adding a lot more buttercream than I need so I can put it into the fridge, let it all set up and then work on it constantly. If I added too little, then I have to add more, put it back in the fridge, let it set up, work on it again, then add a little bit more. It would take so much longer. Now you can see that I'm using Icarus as a guide for my Batman face. I don't have any Batman toys. Richard Madden, he's good looking. I like his face shape, so I'm using that as a template. Just amplifying all of his features, making them big. Now when I had my basic Batman face shape done, I put it in the fridge, let it set, took it out, and started to fine tune all of my shapes. At this point, I started to change it up a little bit because I wanted some Batman features. So I wanted him to have a nice strong chin. I wanted him to have Val Kilmer's lips. I just finished the, the Val Kilmer documentary and he talks about being Batman. Val Kilmer's lips look so nice in the suit. I also exaggerated his brow bone because I'm not creating the brow bone of Bruce Wayne. I'm creating the brow bone that's on the Batman cowl. When I was more comfortable with where his eyes would be, I started to carve out my eye shapes and then I placed in some gumballs to create his eyes. They're the perfect size and shape, you guys. These gumballs were meant to be eyes. So we started with the left and then I added the right. I'm just going to cover this with buttercream to seal them in and then start to create his eyelids. Creating his eyelids, it's like a very thin layer of buttercream and it kept getting soft. So I was just going back and forth between my fridge and my countertop so that I could get the right shape. When I was happy with my sculpt, I added a final layer of buttercream to get his face as smooth as I could. There is a little bit of texture. There's a lot of like little brush strokes that you can see, but I knew that going in because I'm working with buttercream. 
this point, I was happy with his face, so it was time to start adding the black buttercream. Now I am using a little bit of fondant for this. It, it's a good cheat. To create the edges of his cowl, I'm using black fondant strips. That way I have a nice clean line. Creating a clean line when it's the same color buttercream is easy, but when you're using black buttercream, any little mistake is, it just feels dangerous. So having this little fondant sheet made creating this cowl so easy. So I'm starting with his eyes. I have a very thin layer of buttercream and I'm just applying it with a small paintbrush. I darkened his lips just a little bit and then started to work on his right eye. Now when I'm adding the buttercream to his face, I'm adding a very thin layer and I'm just using a paintbrush. And so I started off with small paintbrushes and then they progressively got bigger as I got further away from the rest of his face. So I started with his right side worked my way to his left and then onto his back. And then using an offset spatula, I added my black buttercream to the rest of the cake. I did that. Wow. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. That's me. I'm in this video making this cake. Let's go. I can't believe that. Now I did mess up a little bit. His head was a little too round, just a little too high. So I had to perform a little bit of a surgery. I just cut off the top layer of cake covered it in more buttercream and I was very careful because there isn't a crumb coat here. Blended it to the rest of the cake and then I added my bat ears which are made of fondant. You can totally create this with buttercream but I, man, why? <laughs> it would just take longer, man. And if you blend it with buttercream then nobody's gonna know. After that, voila, my Batman cake was complete. What do you think? I can't believe, oh my gosh. That's buttercream. I kind of went back and forth. I was gonna give his bat cowl a smooth texture, but then I was scared that people were just gonna think that this is covered in fondant. But I ended up really liking the texture of the buttercream and how it contrasts the smooth buttercream that I used to create his face. Oh my God, look at those lips. They look so good. Now, originally I was gonna just do Robert Pattinson's Batman, but I love all of the Batmans. So like Val Kilmer's lips, I tried to give him like a strong jaw like Ben Affleck. The cowl was mostly inspired by Christian Bale's cowl. And his eyes are like the animated show, which is why they're white. I made that. <laughs> oh wow, I made that. I feel so good about myself right now. <laughs> the only thing I really didn't like about this cake was cutting into it and seeing that terrible looking marble. I thought yellow and black would be cool because it's a Batman theme, but that marble looks disgusting. That looks like trash. I don't know why you're hyping yourself up right now. You just cut the ugliest slice out of that cake. <laughs> now I need to know in the comments what superhero you'd like to see me create next. Now I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. This video has a part two. Now, just like my Isabella doll cake, I gave this cake a second life. I put my slice back in, took off as much buttercream as I could, and then transformed it into another superhero. That way, I don't have to completely shape another face. I could just trim down like his chin, reshape his mouth, and I'm good to go. And I'm curious if you can guess which superhero I created. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I'll see you very soon. Bye. So I throw away a lot of cake. I don't give away any of the cakes in my new studio. With everything that's going on in the world and the fact that I have dogs and cats just roaming around, everything stays here. So when I decided to make head sculpts, I used styrofoam to create half of the head so that I would only have to use two layers of cake. Covering styrofoam with buttercream is just like covering cake with buttercream. So I'm able to show you some awesome technique while reducing my cake waste. So this is the point in my Batman cake process that I almost gave up. It just looks so ugly. And I wasn't sure I was going to be able to get it to look like anything that resembled Batman. But luckily I pushed it through and I created something I was really proud of. So if you've been watching me for a while, then you know that I've been using gumballs to create eyes for forever. And when I decided to make head sculpts, the size of the head sculpt revolved around how big my gumballs were. Using the gumballs as eyes made it easy for me to shape the eyelids with buttercream. I could move faster and it took so much of my stress away. 
Black buttercream can be disastrous. So when I was creating Batman's cowl, I was really scared to add my black buttercream and fondant was the answer. I used strips of black fondant to create the edge of Batman's cowl. Then I added my black buttercream and just blended it into my fondant strips to create this very seamless looking design. You can't tell, it just looks really good. Now I grew up with a ton of different Batmans. And I tried to incorporate all of my favorites into this cake. So I tried to give it Val Kilmer's ellipse, Ben Affleck's strong jaw, Christian Bale's cowl, and the animated Batman's eyes. And it looks pretty good. Oh man, I can't believe this is my first head sculpt. When I was making Batman's cowl, I was scared that people were gonna think that I just covered this entire cake with fondant. And so I decided to leave the buttercream texture and I ended up really liking it because you can see the contrast between the smooth buttercream that I used to create his face and this rough looking buttercream that's on his cowl. I just love the combination. The only thing I really didn't like about this cake was cutting into it and seeing that terrible looking marble. I thought yellow and black would be cool because it's a Batman theme, but that marble looks disgusting. That looks like trash. I don't know why you're hyping yourself up right now. You just cut the ugliest slice out of that cake. 